Hello and well, welcome back to my channel. It's day 28 of my book going. I'm going to be doing something really special and fun. So today we are going to the Halloween market, which is like, I'm on 11 to 4, so nothing too crazy. And then after that, we are going in the evening, we are going to the ghost store. So basically, ghost is like talking about all the stories uh, to the buildings as to why they're haunted and such. So. I've never been to one just because I don't really like tours, but this one, I think this one will be fine, I think. But, yeah, that's when we're going. Um, so, we are going to head on to the Halloween market right now because that's like the first thing on the list. And the ghost tour will take place in the evening, 6.45 is when it's starting. So, yeah, we've got a little bit of time in there. But I think it'll be fun and, and I think you guys will enjoy it too, so. Let's get going. It's my own bookstore, so I do see some quite cool ones. This one seems kind of promising. How about the book? I do know about that book. Speaking of. Okay. I know kind of what I mean, the Grave Maidens. I have heard about that book. But... How good is it? I don't know. Me, what that says. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't really talk there because there was someone like the staff working putting books all the way, so it was kind of awkward. <laughs> But yeah, and then it's Okay, so I'm getting these two. And they're completely changing everything just to have room. But yeah, I don't really see anything else. So I think this will be it for now. from my spooky shopping. <laughs> I know, it's not really spooky, but just more with it. I actually got three books in the end. I was lucky to find one more. So, I will give you a small haul. Yeah, so let me just give you a quick haul. So, I got The Woman in the Library by Solala Gentile. In every person's story, there's something to hide. Ain't that the truth? The ornate meeting room at the Boston Public Library is quiet until the tranquility is shattered by a woman's terrified scream. Security guards take charge of me or instructing everyone inside to stay put until the threat is identified and contained, while they wait for all the clear four strangers who have happened to sit at the same table, pass the time in conversation and friendships are struck. Each, as, each has his or her own reasons for being in the meeting room that morning. It just happens that one is a murder. And we're gonna find out who it is. And my next one is The Mystery Writer by so oh, by the same author, Solaria Gentle. I did not realize that until now. There's nothing easier to dismiss than a conspiracy theory until it turns out to be true. When Theodore's bent on a badass with career path as an attorney and shows up on, to her, on her brother's doorstep with two suitcases and an unfinished novel, she expects to face these challenges. Will her brother support her ambition or send him back to finish her degree? 
Why won't her parents seem ready to let her off on the decision? But does she even have what it takes to be a successful writer? Honestly, every, no, everyone does. If you got the passion and determination, go for it. <laughs> what what Thea never expects is to be drawn into a hidden literary world in which identity is something that can be lost and remain for the sake of an audience. When her mentor, a highly successful author, is brutally murdered, Thea wants his killer to be found and justice to be served. Then the police begin looking at her brother, Gus, as the prime suspect, and Thea does the unthink unthinkable in order to protect him. But the writer has left a trail, a thread out of their labyrinth in the form of a story. Gus finds a thread and follows it, and in this attempt to save his sister, he inadvertently threatens the foundation of the labyrinth itself. To protect a carefully constructed narrative, Thea Benton and everyone looking for her will have to die. That sounds mysterious indeed. And my final book is The Clue to the Cabinet, Sleep 6 by Lisa Ungar. I feel like I learned a story from her by Cat in the Village 1. Three couples rent a luxur luxury cabin in the woods while we can get away to die. Oh, well, that's... That was like right off the bat. Okay. <laughs> what can be more restful, more restorative than a winking getaway with family and friends? Hannah's loving and generous tech mogul brother found a listing for a secluded dream house online. It is worth a gift to Hannah and includes their spouses and another couple. The six friends need this trip with good food, good company, and lots of on and on. Far from the chatter and pleasures of modern life. But the endelic weekend is about to turn into a nightmare. A deadly storm is brewing. The rental house just seems just a little too present. The person chef reveals that the beautiful house has a spine tingling history. And the friends have their own complicated past with secrets that run blood deep. How will this Hannah know her brother, her own husband? Can she trust her best friend? And who is the new boyfriend crashing the party? Meanwhile, someone is determined to move into weekend, looking to exact a payback for these long buried. Who is the stranger among them? That sounds lovely, I think. <laughs> but it's like right off the bat, it's like, get away to die. I'm like, okay, right off the bat. So yeah, so these are my three spooky reads. I am excited for them. So, I will see you guys then. Alright you guys, I'm kinda of taking a break. I think that with this one candle. It smells really nice, so I decided it's like look pretty, but um I didn't feel much, it's too small and crowded to do anything, no honestly. But I am waiting for an appointment that I made, so it will go from there. But yeah, it's pretty nice so far I know. Alright you guys, so that will be it for the adventure. <laughs> so I like that this like really pretty candle. Um, if you kind of look at it, this is what the description is saying. Yeah, for some reason, just not gonna focus. But Centurion is a manifest manifestation crystal that motivates you to take action, and promotes optimism and happiness while balancing your chakras. So I kind of need this candle because it says it motivates you. Um, I almost had a burnout for book reading this year. So, I do need a little oomph to me, but, um, yeah. So yeah, I was kind of looking for a specific thing, but I guess they didn't have it this year. But, um, yeah. So the face could have been a little bit bigger. It wasn't that fun. So, yeah, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, that's, that is. I'm going home now. But also I feel like I'm going to tell a Carlina. It was actually spot on, so I'm excited for next year. She said next year is my big year. So, I'm kind of really excited for it. But, yeah. I'm looking forward to next year. 
she sent in December 2025, so I'm excited for that one. Then up to sing and now it's at the UFC, I think. So you can imagine being a young girl moving here from uh, Didsbury and living on S Stephen Avenue, like watching people come and go and they were having a grand old time. Now they weren't allowed to fraternize, weren't allowed to talk to boys. Uh, but they managed, I mean, there were a lot of boys and uh, a lot of boys in uniform to talk to. So then war breaks out and the first battalion sent over to France was the PPCLI. In a couple of weeks of that, they found out that our young lady had been very, very friendly with one of them. She was pregnant. So she went to the school and they said, oh no, honey, you can't be a teacher now. So she went home and they said, nope, you want to move to the big city, you're on your own. And so uh, she came down to this church because family friends were here. And they said, nope, your parents have already talked to us, figure it out. And I don't know, I think maybe they were just going to let her stew for a little bit. Um, but nope, she made the rounds again, nobody would help her. So she came down to this church and she went up to the bell tower and she jumped. And she and the baby both died right here where you guys are standing. <laughs> now, she hasn't seen a lot. She's seen a couple of times. I know uh, my friend Debbie uh, does a lot of good. She said, yeah, I remember you. And he goes, all right, mom, well, come on. Let's go down under the bridge. So he takes him down underneath the bridge and stabs him. 17 to 23 times. Uh, they're not sure just because the CSI isn't the same as it is now. Um, they were sort of guesstimating. And I said 33, it was 53. And so there were a lot of wounds. So the gentleman that killed his name, his name was Donald Stapley. So Donald made a getaway and then realizing that leaving a little boy under the bridge probably wasn't the best place. He actually came back, grabbed the body, dragged it across the bridge, and buried little Donnie in the children's playground, where Donnie's father worked and was the one to find him. Like, that's just creepy. Um, I mind you guys, I'm back, so it was really fun. I actually did not watch some stories that were happening throughout the neighborhood, so it was good to see, like, how they were talking about it and such. So it was really fun. I kind of liked the Donhouse. I don't know why. It's kind of my favorite story. So it is sad, but I don't know. I personally like that story. Not the Donhouse. I think it was the Suna House. Something like that. And those stories are like so similar. But I think it was the Suna House. I'm sorry for the noise. But it was really fun. So I, yeah, I actually went to investigate one of the places actually. Um, it's like one of the zoom but you're actually kind of person crying. Long story short, a boy named Donnie cried or got killed underneath the bridge like a long time ago. So to this day, you can still hear him cry. Insane. So I actually got him a camera, but it's like really faint. I might be able to find it. I still have the footage. So yeah, it was really fun. But and um, I didn't expect it to be like so out. It was like quite crowded, so I guess it was like one of the popular groups, I guess. So we all had like our glow stick. Um, you know, I'd like to find out um, who, like, if we are, if we were got lost and so on. But yeah, it was really fun, so good times. <laughs> But anyways, I got pictures like this, you know, something to change it up, and um, it was fun. So, let me know what you guys enjoyed more the ghost. Oh, I also tried to film. I kind of gave up. But, yeah, I don't know, like, not a lot of people were, like, taking pictures and filming, so I kind of felt awkward doing it. But, I will put some in here anyways, but, um, yeah. So let me know what you enjoyed, the market, or the ghost order. But, um... Please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. I'll see you tomorrow for day 29. Bye.